Local hospitals continue to fill up with COVID-19 patients, and the fear is it's only going to get worse. I spoke with two healthcare workers who have spent the pandemic on the front lines. They shared with me the mental and physical toll COVID is having on hospitals and their employees. It's heartbreaking to watch because we get these patients who are terrified. They didn't think COVID was serious. They didn't think that it would affect them. The last year and a half has been tough in Franciscan Health Lafayette's intensive care unit. I'm seeing things that I had never seen before in my career. The hospital currently has 28 COVID patients, 11 are in the intensive care unit, five of those are on ventilators. One thing that you never forget is when you're about to intubate a patient, which means putting the tube down their throat, the last moments before we do, they always tell us, I'm scared. ICU nurse Shanna Lowinger says she and her coworkers are tired. Every time we go through a new wave, it kind of lightens up and we think like, okay, this is it. And then in a few months, we get hit with an entirely new wave. Things aren't any better for IU Health Arnett Dr. James Emerson and his staff. The hospital currently has 22 COVID patients. Three of those are in the ICU on ventilators. We have a national nursing shortage and it's just been decimated by going through through COVID. Emerson says while they've had a handful of breakthrough infections, the worst cases are in the unvaccinated and beds are filling up. It's causing backups within the, the emergency room. It causes backups into the waiting room. Um, and causes backups in the community. Emerson says misinformation about the COVID vaccine is a problem. Our hospital is full uh, of, of COVID badness that I do not know what direction a lot of these patients are going to go. What I will tell you is I'm not seeing any side effects from a vaccine showing up here in the hospital. Lowinger is pleading for those eligible to get the vaccine before it's too late. Find somebody out there who has lost a family member to COVID and they'll tell you this is nothing to joke around with. You can find more information on the COVID-19 vaccine and how to schedule your appointment on WLFI.com.